Greetings from Ventura, California. This is my hometown, so it's been a lot of fun to ride Honda's new SCL 500 on my own stomping grounds. So with its scrambler styling, Honda is paying homage to its bikes from the 60s, the CL72, the CL77, which were scrambler styled bikes built on bikes that were originally street bikes. And so this is actually built on Honda's 500cc platform that is the fifth member of this 500cc class in Honda's lineup. So there's the CBR 500R sport bikes, there's the Rebel 500 Cruiser, there's the CB 500X adventure bike, and then there's the CB 500F naked bike. So the SCL 500 uh, with its scrambler styling, it's you know starting from the front, it's got a 19 inch front wheel, 17 inch rear, it's got block tread pattern tires, they're Dunlop mixed tour tires. You know, and then it's got the cool scrambler styling elements. It's got fork gaiters. It's got a high routed exhaust. You know, it's got a bench seat. So, and also since it's, you know, a bike that could be ridden lightly off-road, Honda gave it a little bit more suspension travel. So this is just a really fun motorcycle to ride because it's very basic in some ways. It's got a very accessible, tractable, but fun engine. There are no ride modes or anything like that to figure out. It comes standard with ABS, but this is a bike you just get on and ride and you can just bomb around town. You can do what we did. We went up the coast. We did some twisty mountain roads. We went to a cafe for lunch. And that's really what this makes this a really great bike. It's very affordable. It's $67.99. So it's a bike that really would fit anybody's budget. It could be a first motorcycle for somebody. It could also be an extra bike just to have something fun in the garage. You know, in order for it to be a bike that is accessible for smaller riders, it's got a 31 inch seat height. The curb weight is 419 pounds. So it's very easy to get up off the side stand, ride around, you know, in terms of maneuverability around corners and so forth. The suspension, like I said, it's got a little bit of extra suspension travel. It's actually nice and plush. Could probably use a little bit more rebound damping in the rear you get over some rough stuff it gets a little bit bouncy but it's it's really nice and comfortable the cool thing about this bike is that you can get it in this candy orange color there's also a metallic green color and honda also has some really cool accessories so this seat right here in black there's also an accessory seat that's an inch taller it's brown there's a rack that goes on the back you can get some luggage on the side it's really a bike that lends itself to personalization but as I said, the thing that I like most about this bike is just getting on and riding. It's very carefree. The engine uh, just spins right up. It's very smooth and linear. It's got a slip assist clutch, so changing gears is effortless. It's only got a single disc in the front, so for a guy my size, I'm 200 pounds, I could use a little bit more front brake. But uh, for the type of most of the people, the type of riding and the type of rider that will buy this bike, it's more than adequate. So again, 471 cc parallel twin 500 cc class motorcycle it, you know it's got honda reliability it's got a very cool retro style and it's in dealerships now as i said the msrp is 67.99 and it's a bike you really can't go wrong with so thanks for watching